Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to look at building a butterfly and as you can see here I'm cutting out the template. The template is a PDF file, it's printable, reusable and flexible as in it can be in different sizes. And this is what the template produces, this is my version of this template and as you can see it turned out really nice and I'm really happy with it. So once you've cut out all of your template parts, roll out a slab of clay, it needs to be 5mm thick and the clay slab needs to be big enough to hold all the template parts. Then once that's done it's time to lay out your template onto your clay and then cut round and I use a needle tool to do that. I would recommend though that you lay a piece of plastic underneath your slab of clay before you start cutting round as this will ensure that the clay parts don't stick to the board because if they do stick to the board when you come to release them they may distort and lose their shape. So I'll speed up this section now so we can move on to the next part. Now it's time to mark out the detail. I do this using a blunt tool. I'm going to speed up this section so we can move on to the next part. Now we've done that we're going to move these parts onto a board so they can go leather hard. So now it's time to start carving out the design in the wings. You could at this stage go on the internet and have a look to see what butterflies look like and choose a different pattern. I have included in this template two other sets of wings with a different pattern on, just for inspiration. So I'm going to speed this section up now so we can move on to the next part. So now I'm going to add the holes. These are not decorative, they are for airflow. They allow the air to flow through the thickest part of the butterfly which is going to be the body. So now it's time to position the wings and leave to allow them to go leather hard. I've used a little plaster bath here that I'm going to prop up with some slabs of clay just to give it a different dimension, like I'll show you in the video now. But you can use cardboard or anything that you've got that's a flat surface that can lay underneath the butterfly's wings. So now we're going to concentrate on the middle body. So I'm just adding some little bits of paper. This is so that the slip doesn't block the holes. Uh, when we score and slip in a moment. So I'm just scoring by scratching the surface of the clay and then adding thick slip and then I'm going to add that part I showed you earlier and then carve out the centre and remove the two pieces of paper. So I've added the body, or I'm going to add the body and on the body if you've noticed there are two little bits that stick out onto the wings there to support the wings so those need to be blended in seamlessly and we'll do that later on. And that just gives strength to the wings, the thickest part of the wings is towards the body. So I'm carving out the centre now, so I'm going to speed this section up so we can move on to the next part. So 
So now it's time to put the detail on for the legs. So just take away one millimeter from the surface of the clay in between the legs. Make sure you do all the detail at this stage because once you slip them together you can no longer add any more detail to the legs. So make sure both sides are completely finished and left to one side to go leather hard. I'm going to speed this section up now so we can move on to the next part. Now we're on to the base, mark out the keyhole. The keyhole will determine on what position you put it on the wall, so bear that in mind when you're putting it in the base. So now, once you've done that, you can attach the legs once they've gone leather hard. Score and slip. You might need to use something to prop them up while they set. You need to compress that join with your finger or a tool. So this is the top of the legs. It has two parts that stick out slightly on the sides and that is where that attaches to the underside of the wings that gives the wings support so make sure you mark out the lines of where the walls of the legs will attach and score and slip So now I'm going to put the abdomen together, the two triangles, bend them slightly around your finger, join on one edge and then attach the base, all score and slip and then seal the joins with your brush or finger. Once you've assembled it, wrap it up and leave to one side as smallest parts dry out quick so we don't want it to dry out too much. So now as you can see I've added that top slab to the cavity of the body that we created earlier and that uh, join that you can see there that all needs to be blended in so it's nice and smooth so we'll do that later. So now I'm working on smoothing out the wings and getting rid of any rough parts caused by the carving out. And if you'd like to um, thin out the edge of the wings that will give it a better effect but you don't have to if you don't want to. So I'm going to speed up this video now so we can move on to the next part.
So now we're going to look at the body of the butterfly. It's down to you now to decide the detail. So to get inspiration, if you don't feel like you could um, do it off the top of your head, then go onto the internet and look at pictures of butterflies. There are lots of different styles of butterflies out there. There's realistic photographs of butterflies, but there's also cartoon characters, pencil drawings, all sorts. So you could take inspiration from any of those and decide on the design that you want to go for. So I'm going to speed up this section so we can move on to the next part. So now I'm looking at the abdomen, I've blended in all the joins of that top slab, added a little bit more clay, you know, shaped it to the way I would like it. So I recommend that you do the same again, look for photographs on the internet of what abdomens look like for butterflies and then choose the design on pattern and style that you want to go for. So now we've added all the detail to the butterfly, it's time to leave it to go leather hard. Cover up the wings with plastic but leave the body exposed as we've added moisture so it's gone a little bit soft and the wings will dry out quicker than the body. And once it's gone leather hard, so really stiff, no movement in those wings, carefully lift it up by the body only, don't hold it by the wings as they will break. Add plenty of slip to the legs and then put the two parts together and any slip that oozes out between those joints, blend that into the underside of the wing but make sure you put your supports back as we've added moisture so it could compromise the strength of the wings so make sure you support those wings for the entire time that it takes for it to dry out ready for firing. So now it's time to add the abdomen, make sure the hole is clear of any clay debris so it allows airflow and score and slip. So the sculpture is now complete and just needs a little bit of a tidying up there. If you would like to have a go at this sculpture template yourself, it will be available in either my bio, my profile or the video description below. You need to subscribe to save these instructions for any future builds you have planned.